Have you ever wondered how the rubber beneath your car helps it glide smoothly on the road? Car tires are one of the most important components of a vehicle, providing safety, stability and performance on the road. But have you ever thought about how these tires are made? In this video, we will take you on a journey to explore the intricate process of manufacturing car tires. From the rubber compound to the treads and patterns, we'll cover everything you need to know about how car tires are made. So buckle up and get ready to learn about one of the most essential components of your vehicle. The first and most important component of a tire is the rubber compound. Rubber is an essential material for making tires because it is elastic, durable, and can withstand high temperatures. There are two types of rubber that are commonly used in tire manufacturing, natural and synthetic rubber. Natural rubber comes from the sap of rubber trees, which grow primarily in Southeast Asia. The sap is collected by making small cuts in the bark of the tree and allowing the liquid rubber to drip out into containers. This process is known as tapping. Once the sap is collected, it is processed to remove impurities and excess water and then dried into thin sheets. These sheets of rubber are then transported to tire manufacturing facilities where they are mixed with other materials to create the tire compound. Synthetic rubber, on the other hand, is made in a laboratory. It is created by polymerizing various monomers, which are small molecules that can be chemically bonded together to form long chains. The resulting material is similar to natural rubber in terms of its properties and can be used in place of natural rubber in some tire applications. Once the rubber has been harvested, it is mixed with other materials such as carbon black, silica, and oils to create the tire compound. The specific composition of the compound will vary depending on the type of tire being produced. For example, a winter tire will have a different compound than a racing tire or a tire designed for highway use. Mixing the rubber compound is a critical step in tire manufacturing because it determines the characteristics of the final product. The process involves carefully controlling the temperature, pressure, and mixing time to ensure that the rubber and other materials are thoroughly blended together. The resulting compound is then ready to be molded into the shape of a tire. In summary, the rubber compound is the foundation of a tire, and it is created by mixing natural or synthetic rubber with other materials. This process is carefully controlled to ensure that the resulting compound has the desired characteristics for the intended application of the tire. Once the rubber compound has been mixed, the next step in tire manufacturing is to mold it into the shape of a tire. The manufacturing process for tires typically involves several stages, each of which is crucial to producing a high-quality product. The first stage of the process involves creating the inner liner of the tire. This is the layer that forms the airtight seal between the tire and the wheel. The inner liner is made from a thin layer of rubber that is coated with a special adhesive. The liner is then placed inside a mold and the rubber compound is added on top of it. The next stage involves adding the plies. These are the layers of fabric or steel cords that provide the strength and stability of the tire. The plies are placed on top of the inner liner and run from bead to bead. The number and type of plies used in a tire will depend on its intended use and the desired level of performance. Once the plies have been added, the tire is built up in layers. The layers include the sidewall, the tread, and the belts. The sidewall is the part of the tire that connects the tread to the bead. The tread is the part of the tire that makes contact with the road surface, and the belts are layers of steel or fabric that help to reinforce the tread and improve its stability. The layers are built up one at a time, with each layer being added to the previous one. The layers are also carefully positioned to ensure that the tire has the correct balance of strength, flexibility, and durability. Once all the layers have been added, the tire is then cured in a mold under heat and pressure. This process helps to bond the layers together and gives the tire its final shape. After the tire has been cured, it is removed from the mold and undergoes several finishing processes. These processes include trimming any excess rubber, checking the tread depth, and inspecting the tire for defects. The tire is also marked with information such as its size, speed rating, and load index. Quality control is a crucial part of the tire manufacturing process. Tires are subject to rigorous testing to ensure that they meet safety and performance standards. Tests include measuring the tire's rolling resistance, wet and dry traction, and handling characteristics. The tires are also tested for durability and resistance to wear. In summary, the tire manufacturing process involves several stages, including creating the inner liner, adding plies, building up the layers, 
curing the tire in a mold, and finishing and testing the tire. Quality control is a vital part of the process to ensure that the tire meets safety and performance standards. The tread of a tire is the part that makes contact with the road surface, and it plays a vital role in the tire's performance. The tread is responsible for providing traction, stability, and handling, and it is designed to work in different weather conditions. There are several types of tire treads, each of which is designed for a specific purpose. For example, a summer tire will have a different tread pattern than a winter tire, and a racing tire will have a different pattern than a tire designed for highway use. The tread pattern is carefully designed using computer modeling to ensure that it provides the desired level of performance. The pattern includes a series of grooves, called sipes, that help to channel water away from the tire's surface and reduce the risk of hydroplaning. The depth and width of the sipes will vary depending on the type of tire and the conditions it is designed for. In addition to the sipes, the tread also includes larger grooves, called channels, that help to improve traction and handling. The channels are designed to provide grip in different directions, such as forward and sideways. The pattern also includes blocks and ribs that provide additional stability and support for the tread. The tread pattern is also responsible for reducing noise and improving comfort. The pattern is designed to minimize the amount of noise that is generated as the tire rolls over the road surface. This is achieved by using specific shapes and angles in the pattern that help to break up the noise and reduce its volume. The tread pattern is one of the most critical components of a tire's design, and it is carefully selected based on the intended use of the tire. The pattern must be able to provide the required level of performance in different weather conditions, and it must also be durable enough to withstand wear and tear. In summary, the tread of a tire is responsible for providing traction, stability, and handling, and it is carefully designed using computer modeling to provide the desired level of performance. The pattern includes sipes, channels, blocks, and ribs, and it is designed to reduce noise and improve comfort. The pattern is selected based on the intended use of the tire and must be durable enough to withstand wear and tear. In addition to the basic components of a tire, there are several special features that are added to enhance its performance and safety. These features are designed to provide additional benefits to drivers, such as improved handling, increased durability, and better fuel efficiency. One of the most significant advancements in tire technology is run-flat technology. This feature allows a tire to continue to operate even after it has lost air pressure. Run-flat tires have reinforced sidewalls that support the weight of the vehicle, allowing it to be driven for a limited distance without air pressure. This feature can be a lifesaver in situations where changing a flat tire is not possible or safe. Another feature that has become increasingly common in modern tires is pressure sensors. These sensors monitor the tire pressure and alert the driver if it falls below a certain level. This feature can help prevent accidents caused by underinflated tires, which can lead to poor handling and increased risk of a blowout. Tires are also designed to be more environmentally friendly. Many manufacturers are using materials that are more sustainable and reduce the carbon footprint of the tire. These materials include natural rubber, recycled rubber, and plant-based materials. Lastly, advancements in tire design have also led to improvements in fuel efficiency. Low rolling resistance tires are designed to reduce the energy required to move the vehicle, resulting in better fuel economy. These tires are made using materials that reduce friction and improve the tire's overall efficiency. In summary, special features in tires such as run-flat technology, pressure sensors, and sustainable materials enhance their performance and safety. Advancements in tire design have also led to improvements in fuel efficiency, with low rolling resistance tires being designed to reduce the energy required to move the vehicle. As tire technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see more innovative features added to enhance the safety and performance of tires.